figured I would not be quite in the right spot. That's a little better. All right, this is the haul y'all been waiting for. I have a ton of fun stuff tonight. In fact, I've got so much stuff I'm standing in front of my table again. All right, that view looks a little bit better. If y'all are new here, my name is Bree. I'm the owner and artist of Upcycled by Bree, and I love to shop. I go thrifting and junking, garage sailing, and heck, I even find things by the curb. I upcycle them into beautiful home decor, which I sell on my site. Now, everything you see in front of me is already up and listed. I have dropped the link in the live chat. It's down in the description box. Um, it's all in the Shop the Hall collection. And I went ahead and dropped the link that's going to show you the newest things first, so all this stuff. If you see something you love, run over to the website real quick. Go ahead and grab it because things are already selling. So if you want it, get it now. And then if you end up buying something else within 24 hours, I will go ahead and combine your orders together and refund any extra shipping. Of course, local pickup is always free as well. So I am going to go ahead and get started. I, we've only got about five people on. I think everybody's still shopping. I'm going to start showing things, but as y'all hop on, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. And I would love and appreciate a thumbs up if y'all love junk. Okay, let's get this little guy out of the way first because I'm keeping him. I'm being selfish with this one. I found myself the itty bitty brass mouse. So I've got a tall mouse I've used in staging forever. I've seen these before and I finally found one. He was only 50 cents. My haul is from four different places. I did a lot of shopping last week. It started out small, so I went shopping again and then it got out of control, but it's okay. I have also seen that this mouse friend has like two other like larger friends. So I'm gonna start hunting. He's not up for grabs right now, but I had to show you guys Hey, Lori from Topeka. Okay, brass things I found that are available. I got another beautiful swan. This one is perfect size, little hand-sized swan. Great for your vignettes. I paid $4 and I have it up at $14.95. I've sold many swans at this size. They're always popular. Okay, I'm looking at comments over here too, so I apologize for looking off to the side. I need a better, I need like a comment cabinet. <laughs> Kylie's on. Hello. Leslie's here. Hey, Hannah. Amazing haul it is. All right. So if y'all are new and you're wondering why I'm telling you prices, a lot of my friends watching are also resellers. And this is kind of just some info we like to share. What we paid for it, what we're selling it for. And it kind of helps the newer, the newer sellers learn. So just in case you're curious, I found this set of two bells. Well, they're not a set, but I made them a set because they were sitting by each other at the store. Adorable little brass bells. One has a black wood handle. One has a regular wood handle. They're mini. Paid $1.50 for the two, and they're up at $12.95. I love bells, and they sell really well. So when I was shopping this week, I was thinking about the upcoming season. Like, obviously, we're in Christmas right now, but we're going to be moving into winter. So during winter, I still like to decorate with trees. I love to decorate with deer. Um, and I use a lot of white decor. After Christmas with all the glitter and the color, I'm ready to tone it back. So I was thinking winter decor. I found a few Christmas things that I just couldn't pass up. But then I've also got spring items. So of course, always thinking ahead. This little lavender caught my eye, great for spring. I washed it up really well. It was a little dusty, but I love how realistic this one was. I don't, I haven't been picking up a ton of floral because I had too much, but this one was too cute. Um, I paid a buck for it and it's up at $8.95. Look at that cute little stick marker. So y'all let me know, are you the type of people who take Christmas down like the day after Christmas or do you leave it up longer? I went ahead and bought Christmas because I'm thinking some people leave it up clear through January. I've had mine up forever, so it comes down right away. Hey, Elaine and Kim. Okay, so I grabbed this and I finally found good Christmas stuff. I feel like my stores here in Topeka are just now putting their Christmas out. Kind of weird, but okay. Um, this is a vintage Claire Burke. I looked it up online. It was made in 1991. The person marked it 95. Um, but I found comparables about $40 on Etsy. However, the paint on this guy is chipping off. Now for me, I think that makes it that much better. Um, but since it's a little chippy, I might, or, excuse me, I marked mine at 1995. Honestly, though, I think the chippy paint is better. 
but he's great. I loved the stoic look on his face. And I think originally the set had potpourri in it. Yeah, I had potpourri in it, but now you can put whatever you want, floral or um, more potpourri. But I really liked that little guy. I thought it would look cute with a, a poinsettia or a real potted plant as well. Hey, Gina. Um, Elaine leaves her Christmas up till the first week of January, so that's not very long either. I know some people leave it up, leave it up all through January. When I was at, these are probably sharp, huh? When I was at God's Storehouse, I was in like the electronics slash like sports section, and there was a whole bin of skates. They were three dollars each, crazy cheap. Um, I only picked up two pair. I grabbed these because they were blue on the inside, so I thought the white and blue would be great for winter decor, and I love to hang these off of my sleds. Um, again, that's decor that you can kind of leave up after Christmas time that still is a great transitional thing into spring. That way you're not going straight from Christmas trees to like flowers. <laughs> So $3 on the skates. Um, since I paid down a little bit this time, I listed them at $24.95. Uh, I had a pair up a while ago and they were a little pricier because I paid up quite a bit. This pair, beautiful. They're black and then they've got the rust. The inside are like red. So again, great winter colors. Um, I paid $3 each. They're up at $24.95 each. Hey, Miss Jane. Oh my goodness. All my friends are here. I've got 42 friends on. Sunday night must be a good time. Hey, y'all, now that everybody is on, I do want to make a couple of real quick announcements. Um, and I have a favor. I want to hit, first of all, first announcement, I have a favor. <laughs> I want to hit 20,000 subscribers by 2023. So we've got a few weeks left, right? I just checked before this live. I'm at 19,509. So less than 500. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. In fact, I'm going to bribe y'all a little bit this week um, on a DIY video that I have coming out, an edited video with a giveaway um, to help push a little bit to get to those 20,000 subscribers. I'm going to be giving away a little bit of DIY paint, a little bit of Sweet Pickens milk paint, and a Klingon brush. So this is an amazing little painting package. Be on the lookout for that if you... Um, are more like the live kind of liker and you don't watch my edited videos, at least check them out this week for that giveaway um, and for the bribe to hit 20,000. So first announcement, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Um, second thing, I do want to let you know, DIY paint never, ever, ever goes on sale online ever. She never lets us mark it down to keep it a fair playing field, which I love. But right now, cottage colors are 15% off and that runs through the 16th at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time on my website. All of the DIY cottage colors, there's five of them. 15% off, no code needed. So if you've been wanting to try them, they're a little pricier than the um, clay-based paint because they've got the built-in sealer. But if you've been wanting to try them, now's a great time. Again, if you're shopping, you've already picked up a few things tonight and you wanna add that, I'll combine your shipping. Okay, now that we've got the announcements out of the way, let's keep going. I found the most adorable tiny nativity scene. I'm just gonna grab a couple pieces. I paid $2 for it um, and it has a 10 piece set. It doesn't have an angel, but it's got all the other classic pieces. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to get close enough that y'all can see, but this has like some beautiful crazing to it. Little, little tiny nativity scene. So if you have a smaller, you know, a smaller house or an apartment or whatever, and you don't want a huge nativity, look at this little tiny set. Perfect, um, perfect mini nativity. Again, I paid it $2 for it. And I think I have it up at $19.95. Oh, Lori says she loves my videos. Thanks, Lori. Woohoo, Evelyn just received her order and she just ordered the white ice skates. So those are gone. Hooray, keep it on, keep going. Uh, Michelle's here. The Chiefs are stinking. <laughs> so she's here early. Hooray. The Chiefs are the Kansas football team. I'm not a sports fan, but apparently they're not doing well. Found another bell cloche. These have been selling like crazy. They're great for um, the holidays because, again, I just like bells during the holidays. But, again, all year round. I marked this one at $19.95. I usually do $14.95 on it, but I'm going to cut a wood round base for this one. Oh, Jane grabbed the white quails. Yes. So I can't pass up a good cloche. I'll show you guys what just sold. Miss Jane just bought these white quails. 
I always grab quills when I see them, but usually they're painted kind of icky and I have to repaint them. Not these. They are the perfect, beautiful, crisp, clean white ceramic. I paid up just a little bit. I paid $8 on the set. Um, they were 20% off. I, I remember I got them from the major thrift, but I paid up a little bit because I knew somebody would love them and they just sold for $22.95. And I apologize, I keep ducking down here to get stuff out of my way. That way I don't break it, especially the things that are already sold. Um, I know these guys, this was the first thing to sell. <laughs> I found so many critters this week. I went critter crazy. Um, I found all of the critters, I'm telling you guys my secrets, at God's Storehouse. Underneath the clothing racks, they have buckets full of back stock. Um, that they can't fit on their decor shelves. And a lot of people don't know, so I shouldn't be telling you, but that's the first thing I always go for are those buckets and all these critters were in there. These beautiful little chippy vintage ducks I sold for $19.95. I paid $3 for them. But I almost feel like rescuing ceramic critters is like rescuing real critters. <laughs> Another Santa I loved. Um, I looked up the sticker on this one. It was nothing too fancy, um, nothing collectible or anything, but I love the stoic look on his face. And I really like the paint job on him, how like the uh, lower points in the design are really, really dark. It reminds me of like a good dark wax job. Somebody had marked it 1985. That's probably when they got it. I paid a dollar for him and he is up at $12.95. Originally a votive holder, but again, you can put whatever you'd like. Oh, Kylie got the ducks. Okay, Kylie messaged me earlier on Facebook. I loved it. And she's like, okay, girl, questions. Is local pickup free? How do I get my information in? How do I shop the quickest? If I put something in my cart, does it guarantee I get it? I loved it. Um, I'm glad you got what you wanted. Hooray. She got them for her boys. I love that. How old are your boys? Um, I picked up another copper teapot. This came from God's Storehouse. I paid $3 for it. And it is up at $14.95. The selling point for me was the combo of the brass and the copper and then the wooden handle and knob. Really cute shape too. Love the little like very straight spout. Can't pass up good copper. In fact, I just put some really great copper pieces in the mystery boxes I have going out. And those sold out, y'all. You are insane. I love you guys so much. I did um, 15 mystery boxes. They sold out in 24 hours, so I've got those shipping out, and that's going to be a more common thing. Um, okay, again, I'm keeping this. Sorry, but I am trying to up my rolling pin collection game, and I've also been decorating with a lot more black. I paid up for this guy. I paid $10 for this rolling pin, but totally worth it. Love those black handles. Oh, more shopping's going on. Oh, Kylie's boys are eight and two, and they always go feed the ducks. And see, this is why I get critters. I love it. <laughs> Art and Angel said, hey, Brie, sub recently, love my channel. Thank you so much. Watching from Florida. Your name is Kathy. Welcome, Kathy. So I'm keeping that rolling pin. I'm going to put it in my kitchen so it doesn't get lost in the inventory. All right, let's look at these. This, <laughs> this is funny. I found these all at the same thrift store, but I went twice. Um, so I found one the first time and the other two on the second trip. Beautiful, beautiful blue enamel pictures. Um, this one was $7. And they're all up at $16.95. This one is a, I paid $6 for it. And it's got the cute little spoon. Like, I think that's for a spoon. A little spoon slot on it. Oh my gosh. I wish I had more hands. More hands for more junk. And then this one still has the insides. I don't know what it's for, tea or coffee or something. <laughs> I like them for flowers, but I figured I'd just leave the insides in in case you guys want to figure that out. I paid $6 on this one. So six to $7 paid up just a little bit my profit. Margin is not going to be huge on them, but blue enamel, can't pass it up. Uh, with some like beautiful white peonies or roses coming out of those. Gorgeous for spring. And even if y'all aren't ready to decorate for spring, you can start collecting things and that way when you're ready to decorate, you already have your stash. Okay, Leslie says they're for coffee. That makes sense. You probably make really good coffee in those. Okay, check out these swans. Um, somebody said love the wood swans, a comment on like one of my reels, reels or something, but they're actually metal. 
metal swans. I love them. I've never seen metal before. A ton of brass before. I've seen ceramic ones that are kind of this vase style, but never metal. And I thought they'd be really pretty painted too, but I kind of just loved them the way they were. So I'm selling this set at $24.95. I paid $5 for them, but if y'all wanted to paint them and give them a beautiful wax job, they would be gorgeous painted as well. Like painted white and some of that wet distressed back. Woohoo. Oh, Carolyn said blue enamel looks beautiful with daisies. The blue and the white and the yellow, that would be gorgeous. I went ahead and picked up two sleds. Um, I thought these were also good transitional pieces from winter, or I'm sorry, from Christmas into winter. Oh my gosh, my hair is driving me crazy. I should have put it up. I figured it was going to. Um, I paid $4 on this one. I paid $6.40 for this one. So I paid up a little on that one, but since this one was bigger and less expensive, I justified it that way. They're both great colors, like this rustic red, weathered type of wood, and then the green metal on this one. Could not say no. $19.95 on this guy, $14.95 on the smaller one. These would look really cute hung off the wall too. The way they're set up here in the back, you could hang them off a nail or just set them on a table. They'd make cute centerpieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, when I'm holding things up close to the camera, is it making you guys like slow down and glitchy? I'm seeing that a little bit on my live chat, so I want to know how quick and so close. Hey, Patty, I haven't been on too long, doll. You didn't miss much. 17 minutes. I want to try to paint tonight, so I'm going to try to kind of hustle through this. Uh, French Country Trivet, I paid a buck for it, and it's up at $8.95. Of course, a trivet is for your kitchen. You put a nice hot pot on it. So I thought this would be great if you have a French country decor theme. Um, but also these look really great hung on the wall. And most of them have rubber stoppers and that way it keeps it from banging up your wall too. Okay, Leslie said it's not it's not like getting glitchy on your end. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I, I like to get things close so y'all can see them. Okay. A lot of things to upcycle this week, which I'm excited. I've been doing a ton of reselling and I am so ready to get some projects done. So last week on an edited video, I did a birdcage candle stand. It sold instantly and it's been pretty popular. Um, so I have a couple other bird cages and nests that I'm gonna upcycle as well. I found this little nest, it says FOH at the bottom. I have no clue what that stands for, but what got me was like the coppery, like faux copper patina on it. And the fact that it has some great like wire pieces at the bottom, I can secure it to the top of a candlestick. So this is up at $22.95. Read the description and the description says it's going to be turned into a bird nest candlestick. If you want to trust me now and grab it, great. If not, wait later this week and this will be one of my thrift flips. But that was too cute to pass up. I'm looking for all the nests and bird cages right now. Patty's from Texas. Yeehaw! That was so big much. Another upcycle project. This is like a hanging light fixture, right? Like you can order those uh, rope lights off of Amazon. They screw right in. Great. It paid a buck for it. That's a great deal. It came from God's storehouse in their electronics section. But I am also going to turn this one into a like candle stand with the little bird cage type thing on top. But I'm going to add a wood finial over the hole. So the only way you'll be able to decorate this one is by poking things in here. So I'm thinking probably like a nest and eggs in this one instead of a bigger bird. Unless I can think, maybe I can only like attach it just to one side and it'll still hinge up and down. Not quite sure yet. So stay tuned. It'll be $49.95 because I'm putting it on a big honking, beautiful raw wood candle stand. Um, and again, if you're like, eh, I don't know about that lady, just wait till later this week and you'll be able to see it on an edited video all finished. But I, I was like, oh my gosh, I found so many things like this and my brain is like, ooh, wood projects. I'm excited. Found this copper strainer. It is beautiful. And if I were going to keep it and display it, I would actually turn it around this way, hanging off the wall. Um, the front side is a little more patinaed and not quite as coppery but both sides are still pretty. I paid $2.50 for it and it's up at $14.95. It's pretty big. It'd be a good statement piece on the wall. Okay, Jane says also that it's not glitchy. Thank you for answering. Ah, 
right, what is next? I've got a lot of good stuff. Okay, so I only found one of these. I dug and dug through the tub under the clothing rack for like its twins. Usually when I find these, because I found them twice before, there's like two or three. They are vintage brass made in Italy frames and they always have the most beautiful little floral prints inside of them. Sorry if I was blinding you. They didn't know what they had on this one. They marked it $1. Comparables on Etsy are around like $20 a piece um, and, and they go like crazy high. But I have this one up at $14.95. It's just like the perfect little touch to add into a cute little wall collage. It would look beautiful by a vanity. Um, great cottage core decor. And vintage brass frames, I can never, never say no. I don't find them very often. I had to look this thing up when I found it. Um, it is a wine recorker. So you can like put the cork back in the wine bottle. Um, it says it was vintage, like when I, when I Google lensed it, this doesn't look particularly super old. So I'm not sure how old this one is. Um, but even if you don't drink wine, this is just a really great piece to add texture into your kitchen decor. I like to decorate with kitchen items in my kitchen. That would be really cute. Um, but it's also still usable. It is $14.95 and I paid $2.50. You guys know I'm always in the kitchen section looking for things. I found a rolling pin. This is rolling pin E to be painted on my website. I paid $4 for it. I'm not finding them very inexpensive these days. And I sell my rolling pins at $12.95. This one's a little older. I can tell by the, the metal on it. Leslie said she's never seen one of those either. Right, me either, Leslie. I was like, what is this thing? In fact, I put it back on the shelf. And then um, Lorraine was with, with me and she picked it up and she's like, did you see this? And I was like, yeah, I don't know what it is. She's like, well, Google it. And I did and I was like, thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I get lazy and I don't look things up when I should. Um, Teresa just got the green sled. Whoa, thanks, Teresa. Um, what is this? A cutting board. <laughs> It's late, guys. I never go live this late. A cutting board I got for $4. It's a great light wood color. It's obviously been used. I like to put these up on shelves in my kitchen for decor. If you wanted to actually use it, a nice good sanding and a little bit of um, hemp oil, and it would be good to go and use again. And I put this one up at $16.95, which is a great price for a cutting board that size. But it had just enough like cuts and patina on it to catch my eye. Okay, this is another item I almost passed on. They were just too kitschy and cute and I had to get them. Um, this one needs a bath before I ship it out, but that stuff, I washed the wax off the top with the heat gun, but I'm, I need to wash it. Anyways, um, almost passed and I was like, they're too cute, I had to. They were 50 cents each, they're obviously a set. I looked them up, they're, they're not branded at all, um, but they are vintage and they're just little, little taper holders. Little taper caroler holders, <laughs> $13.95. Oh, Leslie's a wine drinker and um, she's never seen that recorker. Maybe it is kind of old. So those carolers were going for around 25 or so on Etsy, but I figured, okay, they're nothing like collectible, collectible. We'll come down in price just a little bit. I'm not Etsy. Um, this was unmarked. They charged me $1 for it at God's Storehouse, but it is like this great green moss, which is good for spring. And then it's got the rusty stars. And y'all know I can't pass up those rusty stars. Sometimes I like cut them off of the things and reuse them, but I thought this was really pretty. And I called it a wreath, but you could also unravel it into a garland if you wanted. I'll let you guys make that call on your own. Um, I think I put $8.95 on it. I forgot my sticker. All right, let's look at these rabbits now that I've got to them. I found these. I went to Goodwill. I wanted a little bit of a challenge. Our Goodwill is always overpriced, but I I took the challenge. There were a ton of things I found I wanted that I passed on because I could not justify the prices, but there were some things that I was like, you know, something this big is $8, and this was also $8. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But anyways, found this rabbit, $8.00. Yes, you're coming home with me. It's like a resin and I'm gonna paint it. I wanna paint this one tonight with the DIY cottage colors. I need to 
I need to hustle, but we're going to do it even if we go over an hour. And I want to paint it to look like cement. So it's going to be fun. Love rabbits for spring. They sell really, really well. And especially these big ones. And here's the second one. This one was only $10. And it's a little bit heavier. I thought maybe they were a set, but I'm not so sure. And they were not by each other. They were like clear across the store. It's got the adorable little basket. Okay, Elaine, I got you. Give me just a second. It's got this adorable little basket, the bows, the flowers. And again, I'm going to paint it up to look like cement. Um, I might get fancy with my cottage colors and do a little pink on the flowers. We'll see. We shall see. Um, Elaine said she bought a rusty cast iron rusty muffin tin. Oh, honey, that's out in the that's out in my um, inventory in the garage. I don't have it inside, but I will send you a PM later on Facebook. I can send you a little video. If I forget, just message me and I'll send it over to you. Okay. But yeah, that's not inside. I wish I had room to keep all my inventory in here, uh, but I got you later. Do, do, do. Hey, Teresa, Teresa's in the house. Um, Leslie said the rabbits in the back are cute too. I think she meant these. Aren't they adorable? They are Department 56, which I'm not sure. I didn't look them up, but maybe that's like a kind of a kind of a vintage company. Does anybody know? Um, that's what the sticker looks like. These were a dollar fifty. I have them up at twelve ninety five. Little trio of rabbits. Loved that. Again, those were in the um, in the bucket down on the ground. Hey, Lori, first time viewer. She says great finds. Thank you, dear. I picked up another oil lamp base. I've been putting Christmas trees in these. Again, I'm pretty much done with my Christmas crafting. So I went ahead and listed this one up in case y'all wanna grab it for a tree. Or I was also trying to think of like spring things I could do. So even with some flowers coming out of this, I think that would be pretty. Um, $2 is what I paid. Beautiful, beautiful silvery patina. It is up at $12.95. It's big. <laughs> I can't read my own writing. A little tall skinny Santa trio. I've been looking for these darn things all season. I finally found three. Um, I was hoping to find wood. These are more of a resin and this one is like flat in the back. I think maybe he was a magnet or something. I'm not sure, but I thought they would be really cute in like a tiny little wooden box with some like fake snow or something fluff sticking up out of them. And I thought he could go in the back with his flat back against the back of a wooden box. If they don't sell, I might try to get a DIY done before I'm done with Christmas, but we'll see. They've got the cutest faces, great colors. They've all got some toys. And okay, so um, if y'all have watched me for a while, I had a booth for the longest time here in Topeka. And because I had a booth at a certain location, I was getting a discount at the Giving Tree. Well, I no longer get my 30% off discount, so that's kind of sad. But I love them so much because I was looking at these Santas. This one was a dollar. This guy was 50 cents. And then I found him and he was marked $4.95. And I didn't want two. I really wanted three. So I took him up front and I was like, hey guys, you know, like a dollar fifty five. Like, is there any way you can work with me? And they totally, they totally worked with me on the pricing. Um, so that's amazing. They are great people over there. If y'all haven't ever been to the giving tree, check them out. I will continue to go and support them, even though I don't get my discount because their prices are amazing anyway. Um, Teresa said department 56 does a lot with Christmas village stuff. Okay, cool. Thank you. I love this. Look at this beautiful jar with a lid. It was $5, which is a little, a little pricey, but I love good glass jars. He'll get a good scrub before I ship them out. But I wanted something cool to go on the inside. And I had these vintage bingo and lotto numbers. Um, so I went ahead and put them inside and marked it all as one set. $24.95. That's a heck of a steal because you could use all of those cards and numbers for crafting as well. Um, the glass jar is a little tricky to ship, but I can do it definitely. Um, I know sometimes people can't find great glass jars in their area. Um, Tracy Schwartz is here. Hey, Tracy. I appreciate you hopping on. And Tracy, I noticed that you 
placed another paint order today, so you must be loving the DIY paint. I am so excited for you. Um, that paint will be ready tomorrow, so you just go ahead and email me and let me know when you'd like to pick up and we can arrange that. This is very cute and very kitschy and my slightly inappropriate mind um, laughed and laughed and laughed and said I have to have it. We won't go there. You guys can figure it out on your own. I paid $2 for this. New old stock, backdoor guests are best. And I thought this would be so stinking cute if you guys use your back door instead of your front door. I know a lot of people do that. And it's a little stained glass hanger. It's got a little chain still in the original pack packaging and it has a suction cup as well. So stinking cute. Um, it's up at $9.95, but I thought this would be a fun gift too. Um, the, they did write on it. I hate that this thrift store writes on things with marker. So there's some writing on the original box, but not the end of the world. Tracy loves the giving tree too. All right, another little brass critter, a vintage owl. Now it says AOE, so I think that's like a fraternity. I didn't notice that until I went to list it. So that might um, take my target market down just a little bit, but he's got some blue paint on his eyes and I thought he was really, really cute. I paid a couple bucks for him. He's up at $8.95. I know I've got some owl lovers and if it's a fraternity, I think that means something to you, then all the better. Okay, this was one of my favorite finds. Another thing I picked up and put down, I didn't know what it was, and then Lorraine picked it up and we ended up getting it that day. Um, it is an antique nutcracker, so it's like a screw type of version. I looked these up and they were going for crazy prices. I paid $4 for it, it's up at $18.95, but you twist the handle to crack the nut and I actually have a couple of nuts, so we're gonna try. This is a hazelnut. So you just twist. Oh, <laughs> until it cracks. That's actually a lot easier than a regular nutcracker. Ta-da! I'm not going to eat it because I haven't washed it yet. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. I've never seen one like I, I've not seen one like that before. $18.95 on the antique nutcracker. And even if you didn't want to use it, it would be a great display piece in an antique kitchen vignette. I found a whole bag of thread spools and I split them up into two sets. One is this more like industrial colored lot. We've got some black and some beautiful browns and then like this gray color. This almost reminds me of DIY weathered wood. Gorgeous. I can't remember my price. Let me find the one with the price on it. So I've got the two sets, I think they're up at $12.95. And this one's like a lot of 11 and the other one's like a lot of eight or something. <laughs> We're just gonna put them down there. So you've got the black and the brown ones and then these are white and blue and I thought that they would be really fun for um, like winter, winter, January decor. People have been doing fun DIYs with these two, putting bottle brush trees in them and whatnot. Let me know if you've ever done a craft with those spools and what do you do? Tracy said good pun, thank you, it's ridiculous. I do love puns, that one was an accident, but I caught it <laughs> and then I had to exaggerate it. All right, I have found one of these before. The one I found before was copper. This one is brass, but it is a Swedish decanter and it's actually a music box. I tested it out and it works. Um, you wind it up and then when you set it down and the little trigger thing right there gets pushed, then it plays some pretty music. Um, the cork is a little broken, but I think with enough finagling, you could definitely get it out of there. I figured I would just leave it alone in case you just want it for decor. But how pretty is that? The glass is tinted pretty green too. I paid $2.50 on this one. I found it at a heck of a deal. They're listed pretty pricey online. I have mine up at $34.95. That's the same price I sold the last one. I would start the um, music for you, but I'm afraid it won't stop. But I put a little video clip in the listing of what it sounds like. 
Um, another good piece of greenery I found is this rosemary plant. I cleaned this one out. Yeah, Leslie likes that decanter. Isn't that cool? That's the second one I found. It's, um, it's even marked Leslie made in Sweden on the bottom. Forgot to show that. Sorry about that. So I clean this really well. I like to use Dawn Power Wash. I just spray them down and then hit them with um, some nice hot water. But this was a $2. It's up at $8.95. And at that price, you could even add a little like IOD um, transfer or something and mark it up a little bit more. Shopping for something that this, you know, like Target or whatever, they're charging like 10, 12, 15, crazy amounts of money for this little floral. So I always look for it at the thrift store when I can. Okay, I found a muddler <laughs> and it cracked me up. It says consider it muddled. So I snagged it. $2 is what I paid. It's up at $12.95 in really good, great, usable shape. So again, always hitting those kitchen items. Here is another nest that I'm going to upcycle. It's a cute, great wood wicker color. Um, and then three eggs inside with some great nesting fabric. I'm going to add this one on top of, <laughs> I'm going to add this one on top of a candlestick. I paid 99 cents. I already had the wood eggs, so I threw those in there. So I probably paid a couple bucks and I have it up at $22.95. It's going to be gorgeous on top of a candlestick. Y'all can tell what my favorite DIY this spring is going to be. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, I don't know how to make it stop. It'll stop in a second. Um, this little frog is a vintage Gaines Gons. And I, I, when I saw him sitting on the shelf, I was thinking, okay, he looks special. So I used Google Lens and looked him up. And he was going for like almost $30 on eBay. I thought it would stop ringing. There. <laughs> He is a salt and pepper combo, so salt on the top, pepper on the bottom. All of his little um, plugs are still in good shape. I have them up at $13.95. How stinking cute is he? Will I start spring in the new year? Yes, ma'am, Teresa, January 1st, spring. But I won't decorate for spring quite yet, like in my own home. I'll take down my tree, um, like my big Christmas tree, and I'll leave up like a couple of smaller trees in my reindeer, but DIYs are starting January 1st. Um, a lot of organization in January, so I'll be painting some cubbies and stuff, and then we'll move into the florals and whatnot. But yeah, you see in front of me already, you see the bunnies um, right away. Yeah, I'll start DIY projects right away some organizing and um, DIYs for ideas for other people, for sure. I found this vintage set of dogs. It is a trio. I paid $150. I was about to pass on them, but then I realized that like their faces are rubbing off and their paint's all chippy. And just like the old vintage roosters, when I see those with their paint chipping off, I was like, I gotta have them. They're so stinking cute. I like this one's little side eyes. <laughs> And the set of three is up at $9.95. I'm going to set a couple things over here. I'm running out of room. I don't want to break anything. These babies I grabbed. I paid $3.50 for the set. And I thought they'd be really cute in like January vignette for like the, the little New Year's babies you see. Oh, they're just cute. $9.95 for the two. Again, I went like, I went knickknack crazy. This is vintage Teleflora. Now, I tried to Google Lens it. I ran out of patience. What does Lefue stand for? Like, is this a wax warmer or a, like you put a candle in there and like roast marshmallows? Somebody has to know. Teleflora was popular. Leslie said she's sick of winter and it's not even winter yet. Felt. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to spring projects because it makes me think happy, warm thoughts. So two fifty dollars was what um, I paid for it. Paid a little high, not knowing what it was, but because it was copper and the white and the blue, I thought it would just re be really pretty with some like wooden spoons or floral in it too. Um, $12.95 is what I listed it at. That might be a heck of a steal. If I underpriced it, don't tell me. <laughs> 
I found this gorgeous wooden crate and it's really big and long. I was thinking I'd paint it and then I decided it's just a beautiful wood color, so I'm not. But this would be great on a centerpiece and then like put one of those pretty blue enamel pictures in the middle, some great greenery on the side. I love the long thin crates for centerpieces. $16.95 is what it is listed as and I, I paid up just a little bit at $4.50. We've got 60 people on now. Thank y'all so much. I'm going to go ahead and drop the co the shopping collection again here in the live chat in case you're just joining. I know things are going quick. Okay. Let's speed through a couple of things here. This adorable holder. I wish it would have had the other two bottles, but I think it's cute just the way it is. That's amazing. 64 people. I paid $4.50 for it. You're going to get the holder and all six jars for just $22.95. And again, with a few pieces of, um, or a few flowers in this, a little bit of like greenery here in the empty spots, gorgeous centerpiece. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Y'all keep sharing this video out. Let's see if we can get to 100 tonight. That would be wild. That'd be the first time, I think. I found five great teal insulators. Let's not hold them all at once. Five great teal insulators, and they were sitting on different shelves throughout God's storehouse, and I kept going, oop, 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 and plucking them. They were $2 each, and they've got great, great advertising on them. This one says number 19. Oh, those numbers are rising. Thank y'all. Um, but I thought I'd sell these as a set because things are cuter in sets of three and five when it comes to decorating. It's just science. And sometimes people can't find these, especially the teal ones. So I've got the whole set listed up at $29.95. I paid $10 and you get five beautiful teal insulators. Um, if you were watching a couple weeks ago, I listed on a story like, what is this thing? It was a metal stick with a wooden knob on the end. And everybody said it's a piece for the glass insulators. Well, these are the insulators that wooden piece, that wooden threaded piece would have gone up here and then the metal sticks out the bottom and it's like grounding whatever for electric wires. Here is another bird cage will be upcycled. I am not going to add this one to a wooden stand. Oh my gosh, I have a hair. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not going to add this one to a wooden stand, but I am going to fancy it up. I like it except for these round things. So, so I'm going to do something a little different and this one opens at the top. I paid five dollars. It's up at twenty-four ninety-five. Teresa said you had weather in the seventies today. Burr, jealous. It was like forty-seven here. It wasn't bad, and it was so foggy, which was kind of pretty. It's we've had a really mild winter for Kansas. This gorgeous a brass pitcher, single kind of single stem um, base. I mean, has some great patina on it. Y'all can see that patina. It's kind of bright. Um, it was $1.50. I have it up at $12.95. Again, really starting to look for um, vases for spring. This would be gorgeous with a big, bright pink peony or red roses. I found these fans. They were connected together when I bought them. I paid $2.50 and they are up at $12.95. I love these to hang on the wall. And they are two different sizes. So this would be great display. Farmhouse, also a little boho, a little cottagey, very versatile pieces. I always pick those up when I find them. These little sheep, oh my gosh, these were in like a, these were in a bag, a goodie bag full of critters. Um, and they say Hallmark cards on the bottom. Just saw that. I was looking for these. I tried to Google them. So they're Hallmark sheep. I have the set of two up at $9.95 and they're just the sweetest little like velvety sheep. Sheep always sell great for me, so I couldn't leave them. This cute little ruler shelf, just tiny. I don't even know what you would keep on it, except for little tiny cute things. <laughs> I paid 50 cents. It's up at $8.95. I found a few of those in my thrifting days. This is a really cool find. It is a vintage glass measuring cup which are also very pricey online. I listed mine at 19, $19.95. I paid $5 for it. 
So it paid up a little bit. I almost kept it. Oh, Teresa, thank you. She's got a little box out my way tomorrow. She's shipping me a surprise. She's the best. Salt and pepper shakers. These are actually Magnolia. I think they're supposed to be little mini silos. Aren't they adorable? And then they do say salt and pepper at the bottom. They're in great shape. They're marked Magnolia on the bottom. They've got their clear rubber stoppers. I paid $4. I paid up a little bit. I've got them at $14.95. Um, these are going to be a good classic. And I'm pretty sure like down the road, vintage Magnolia will be very popular. Because I mean, Joanna and Chip are just so influential in our decor right now. I don't know how it won't be collectible. Okay, I found this knife block. Paid $4, which I thought was an amazing price. It doesn't even look like it's been used in anybody's kitchen. It's so clean. It looks brand new to me. And I loved the wood color with the galvanized metal. You've got spots for one, two, three, four, seven knives, and then a knife sharpener. Heavy, solid wood. I paid $4 for it. It's up at $22.95. I thought that was beautiful. Or, I mean, you could probably even just use it for a riser. I don't know. The cracks in it are kind of weird, but I can't resist a big old chunk of wood for four bucks. I debated on this in the Goodwill line for a couple of minutes while they were pricing something else for me. It was $8, so I paid up a little bit. Um, the listings online were kind of crazy all over the place. It was hard to tell, and I couldn't find one that looked exactly like this. But because of the copper and the cream, I just couldn't pass it up. Beautiful vintage cake plate. It does have some patina on it, so it's not in perfect condition, but the cake plate underneath is, I, I mean, like, it, I would still use it for a cake. Like, all of the patina is on the outside. I listed it up at $29.95. It's pretty big, so it's going to be a little bit to ship, but I just thought it was pretty. Even if you're not going to use it, it just display it in your kitchen if you've got a big hutch and you have the room. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Do not put the vintage cake carriers in the dishwasher, says Elaine. Thank you, ma'am. That is a good tip. I don't have a dishwasher, so I don't have to worry about ruining any of my stuff. That comes in handy. Okay, I overpaid for these. They were at Goodwill. They were $5.99 each. Six, twelve, eighteen dollars I paid for this set. Ugh. And I almost put it back, and I almost put it back, and I almost put it back but I just overpaid, but it's gorgeous. The, the wood is pretty. It's got the finger joints and like this pretty decal on it. Each of them have a lid and a container that comes out. Um, they need to be washed up, but they're in good shape. Or you could just take the containers out and use the wood box. I do have them to be painted. I debated and debated and debated, but a couple of them have a little bit of, um, of scratches on them and I just think this wood is going to be this wood decal is going to be so much prettier painted so they're listed to be painted $39.95 for the set of three I wish I wouldn't have paid so much for them especially since I'm going to have to put work into them but I loved them so much that I I paid up sometimes we just do that I curated another beautiful lot of spoons I collected these throughout the four thrift stores this is spoon lot J I think it comes with like 11 pieces for $14.95. But that way, if you guys don't want to dig and look for wooden spoons for yourself, but you want them for your decor, here is a whole heaping lot all put together for you. And I don't know why I love hunting for these so much. I love digging through the kitchen utensils for wooden spoons. They sell and it's fun. So I keep doing it. <laughs> Um, I think these were originally like flour, sugar, coffee containers, but I've also had vintage sewing boxes like that, so I am not sure. I found a Brass Angel. I always pick these up when I see them. They sell great for me. $2.50 is what I paid, and she is up at $12.95. Very, very simple, but I like the little details like in her wings and stuff. She's got great patina in her votive holder too, which I will not take out. If you guys want to get that out, you can use, use a heat gun or a hair dryer, heat that up and wipe it out, but I'm gonna leave it in case you like it. Okay, a couple more things and then we're gonna paint. Um, okay, let me get these out of the way real quick because they're heavy. 
I paid twelve dollars for these at in the electronics section at God's Storehouse, and they are vintage or antique Andorans. Andorians, Andorans. <laughs> they are for the fireplace. There's one on each side, and they hold the firewood. They're gorgeous. Look at that brass. I only paid twelve dollars. Listings were crazy high. Um, on Etsy and eBay. Now mine have a little bit of rust. They've got some tarnish on them. Um, I listed mine only at $59.95. So a heck of a deal. Um, they're going to be kind of hard for me to ship and heavy, but I can do it. So I wanted to offer them because I've seen them once before um, in an antique store and they were crazy expensive. So when I saw these at the thrift store, I had to get them. Aren't they pretty? I thought about taking them apart and salvaging them for their brass pieces, and then I told myself I was crazy not to do that, because they're gorgeous. They look gorgeous in somebody's fireplace. I'm keeping these, but aren't they adorable? $2 is what I paid, and they're little lights, but I'm going to hang them up on my porch. I didn't do Christmas lights this year, and I don't think I'm going to get to it, so I'm going to put these up. They're going to go great with my industrial farmhouse decor. I found this adorable little holder. I marked it as a jewelry holder. I paid $2 for it. And I think it would be really cute on a dresser. You can hang your um, necklaces and stuff off of this and maybe put a cute little bowl for your rings or whatever. And then I did mark that I'm going to paint the birds. So not all of the stand, I like the black, but I'm gonna paint the birds and wax them and make them pop. I have it up at $19.95. Deborah says Kansas thrift stores are fabulous. You're not lying, girlfriend. We do have some great thrift stores. A couple of them are overpriced, um, like the mainstream ones, but our local ones have great pricing. I found these vintage wine stoppers. They are wood and metal. There's four of them, and they're all different shapes. Um, but they're really pretty. So I snagged those up. They were in the kitchen section. I think I have them up at $12.95. I paid like $2. Okay, here is the tiniest thing I have ever thrifted. We are at 82 people, y'all. Can we get to 100 tonight? That would be so stinking cool. Tiniest thing I've ever thrifted in my life. Right here. <laughs> so I found a bag full of squirrels and mice in the critter, in the critter bucket. These little guys have magnets on them. Look how cute those are, they're wooden like little fabric ears and they've got magnets these are on flat whoops. <laughs> these are on flower sacks they're also magnets i don't know i couldn't pass them up so the little vintage mice are 8.95 because i love tiny things <laughs> and then i also got squirrels my favorite one is this macrame one. He's got the hole in him. He does have a little chip in his ear. I don't know. Small vintage squirrels. Somebody apparently collected. But if you have a letterpress tray or a little mini collection, then you know. You know my struggle. I found these mini cups. They were in a bag. I paid a dollar for them on the bag wall and they're up at $4.95. I don't know what they're for. One of them is larger and then there's four smaller ones. Does anybody know what this is for? Hello, Faye from Texan, uh, Texas. First live, welcome. I don't know, but they're cute and they're small and they're wood. I loved this little basket. It almost reminds me of a hot air balloon. Ooh, Kylie grabbed the centerpiece crate, the mini squirrels, and the mini wood cups. Okay, so Kylie understands the love of mini things. <laughs> I love it. That's so funny. And then Kylie, be looking out for an email um, probably tomorrow or the day after with a pickup notification, and then we'll um, email back and forth about the pickup address. But this basket is beautiful. It's in great shape. Again, I've been really drawn to more black decor. So the wicker, the black... It's just cute, it's got the lid, and the lid actually fits on there pretty snug. Like it doesn't just fall out. Super cute. I paid 
$1.50 and it's up at $9.95. Oh, Elaine and Faye are both from Houston. Another project to upcycle as we move into January and people are thinking about organizing, I'll be buying lots of boxes, crates, shelves, things that you guys can use to pull your life together. <laughs> this is going to obviously need a paint job. I only paid 50 cents for it. It'll be up at 22, or it is up at 22.95 to be painted, but I loved the construction of it with the little um, nails in it, the way the tray slides off. It says knots on it, so I imagine it had like jelly or something as a gift box, but we're gonna make it super cool. And then it says it will be decoupaged as well. Again, I was really on the search for some things I could upcycle and make over. $10 at Goodwill. So again, I was finding little ceramics for $10 and then this beautiful, beautiful um, wall shelf was also $10. It has like the metal pie tin with the flowers and the hearts. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I have it up to be refreshed. I can't decide if I want to paint it yet or not or just refresh it. So stay tuned for that. If you do buy it and you don't want it painted, you can email me upcycledbybrie.com and that stands that goes for any of the to be painted things be like don't paint it and I won't but email me right away as soon as you purchase it so I know but it's gorgeous it's got the hangers on the back it's got one shelf on the inside but it's got a few holes up and down the side where you could add you could definitely add another little shelf if you wanted to but I couldn't pass that up grabbed it I paid 10 whoops and it's up at 44.95 Punch tin, so 70s. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, last thing I bought was this tree, and I'm going to stick it in my stash for next year. I'm, I'm over the tree DIYs, but it was only a dollar. Wait, $2.50. I'm sorry, it was $2.50. Um, and for that price, it's got the little stand, and I really like the like lanky, long branches on it. So I grabbed it up, I'll store it away for a DIY next year. Okay, we're gonna paint a little bit. How long have I been on? So I've been on an hour, but that's okay. If y'all gotta go, I totally understand, but I wanted to play a little bit with the DIY cottage colors. Um, I want to paint one of the rabbits. We'll do the smaller one. And again, if you're just hopping on or you're a little bit later, DIY cottage colors are on sale right now. 15% off through, um, through December 16th. DIY paint never goes on sale. So if you've been wanting to try the cottage colors, it would be a great, great time to purchase. Excuse me while I move the camera. All right, I'm gonna take my ring light down just a little bit here so y'all can see what I'm doing. That's better. All right, and I wanted again to paint this rabbit to look like stone or concrete. And right now it is a resin. So I have grabbed Cottage Colors and Gray Skies, which is a beautiful medium gray color. Deborah, I did not find any roosters. I'm looking, I'm looking. I found all the critters but roosters. But I am looking, don't you worry. I see a lot of shopping coming up in my future this week. Okay, let me grab comments, sorry y'all. Oh, comments. We're gonna grab a brush. I'm gonna use my Klingon R14 since the cottage colors is a one-step paint that has a built-in sealer, which is great, um, but it's also a little harder to clean out of your brushes. The Klingon brushes are super easy to clean, so I always use my Klingons when I'm using the cottage colors. Teresa said she's far behind on her home decor crafting. You've sold quite a few things at the shop. I'm glad you're selling. I was a little behind in the fall on my home decor stuff. I pulled it together for um, Christmas and I've got a lot of plans for spring. So, okay. 
I shook my paint up before I opened my can. You will want to stir your paint, make sure it mixes up well. And you'll notice the consistency is a little different than the DIY clay based paint. It's thinner um, and it's a little easier to spread around. But look how great the coverage is still. So built in sealer, that means that it um, does not need to be sealed with anything else after it dries, which is amazing. The DIY clay based paint has to be sealed. And this will knock out one of those steps. Now it does not guarantee that it is outdoor safe, but I know a couple people that have painted things for their outdoor use in the cottage colors and the paint has held up well outside. I'm not saying it will, but I'm saying it has. <laughs> so if you want to put these bunnies outside, that's on you. Not guaranteeing that this paint is weatherproof though. It's durable. Not sure if it's weatherproof. Does it cling to the surface as good as the other DIY paint? Yes, ma'am. Now, sometimes you have to do, uh, you know, DIY like clay based paint is usually pretty much one coat coverage, maybe a coat and a, and a little cover up. Um, with the cottage colors, sometimes, especially the white, you'll have to do multiple coats. Um, this is really great coverage on this resin piece. I've done wood pieces too. I had to do two coats. But then you don't have to do the sealer, so that saves you time, it saves you a step, and also some money. So even though you're doing an extra coat, you are cutting out a step with the sealer, if that makes sense. Oh, this is going on really easy and fast. I was pretty sure I was gonna have to do two coats, y'all. I don't think I will, just a coat and a touch up. Again, this is gray skies. There's five colors. There's also vintage mint, which is a beautiful mint color. There's a color called paint blue, which is a beautiful vintage blue. And then there's white linen, obviously white and gray skies. And in fact, I am going to drop a link directly to the cottage colors for y'all. If you want to try them out, 15% off through the 16th, no code needed. So when you go to checkout, it will automatically apply the discount code. There you go. Um, can you dip into the can or are you just at the bottom? Okay, Teresa just called me out. <laughs> I should not be dipping probably directly into my can. I'm just being lazy. But this Gray Skies has um, plans for this week. I'm gonna be using it up. But yes, I would highly recommend taking your paint and pouring it out into a little uh, Dixie cup or you know, glass container or something and not dipping directly into your paint can. Because DIY paint is all natural, you run the risk of it spoiling, um, kind of like getting stinky. You can still use it, but man, it can stink if you contaminate your container with a bunch of um, dirt and yuckiness. Good question, Teresa. I should not be doing this, but I am. <laughs> so pretty. I'm excited because this is the color I ordered. Awesome. Yeah, it's a gorgeous gray. And okay, if you wanted a little bit of a lighter gray, you could take a little bit of gray skies and a little bit of white linen and mix them together. I know um, my business coach, Jamie, she's actually the one that curated the cottage colors made by DIY paint, but thought up by January vintage. Um, she mixes the paint blue and the vintage mint together. Oh my gosh, the color is phenomenal. So yes, you can mix these just like the other DIY paints. I have not mixed the cottage color with a regular clay paint before. Um, I might try that this week as a little experiment, maybe mix a little black in with this gray skies and see if I can get a darker gray, see how that acts together. Okay, I've got one coat on here. I'm going to use my heat gun to dry this up a little bit faster. Good, Teresa. Oh, Teresa says her paint has a funky smell and you've not been dipping in it. Um, I, I know that DIY paint smells different than any other paint I've ever used. And I think it's just the properties in it. Um, if it if it's really bad, Teresa, send me a PM later or something. We can chit chat more um, and talk about it. But I, I, it does smell different than any other paint I've ever used. 
Okay, so I've got one coat on here. I keep saying that and missing a spot. I'm going to use my heat gun, dry it up a little faster. When you are heat gunning the cottage colors, you have to be super careful because it has the built-in sealer. It can bubble and burn really easy. So keep the, your heat gun moving. Hey, Miss Sarah. Oh, she says she hopes to have a wonderful Christmas. I'm a good soul. Thank you, dear. You compared to hard boiled eggs. Oh, Teresa, that sounds like maybe it got contaminated. Um, e email me or message me later and we'll look at the batch number and see what we can figure out. <laughs> smells like a uh, boiled eggs is not a, never fun. <laughs> it should smell more like mud. <laughs> We'll figure it out. We'll get to the bottom of it. But I will say, if you ever do have a container of paint and you dip in it and you kind of get it stinky, once the paint dries, the smell goes away completely. So don't be afraid to still use it. It's not going to be a stinky project. <laughs> but because the paint is all natural, it is great to use inside, VOC free. You can use it with the kids. If uh, you spill a little and your dog licks it, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, mud smells good. <laughs> As this is drying, it's darkening up just a little bit. But not much. And that is opposite of the clay paint. Usually as the DIY clay paint dries, it lightens up. So just keep that in mind. Not a big color difference, but just a little. Once this is all dry, I'll touch up any spots I missed, and then we are gonna put some white wax on it. I don't have to wax it because it's got the built-in sealer, but I want to wax it to create the faux stone look. Nothing like watching paint dry. Hey, Lorraine. Sorry, I didn't answer your FaceTime call. I was live. I'll call you as soon as I am done with this. <laughs> Sorry to hit the ignore button on you. <coughs> Excuse me. So what did y'all do this weekend? Anything exciting? I rested. Y'all be proud of me. I slept until noon today. I got up around 7 and let the dog out and stuff. I laid back down. I slept until noon and it was phenomenal. I had a very, very, very busy week and it was great to rest. A couple of years ago, I was not very good at resting. I am proud of myself. I've gotten much better. <laughs> Lorraine, I showed them the finds that you convinced me I should get that ended up being really cool. The uh, wine recorker and the antique um, nutcracker. All right, this is drying up. Sorry, I know this isn't the most exciting thing in the world to watch. Drop me a comment if you've already tried the cottage colors. Which color did you try and how are you liking it? I will be honest, I was skeptical at first because I love DIY paint because you can reactivate it, because it doesn't have a built-in sealer, because you can blend it so much and stuff. I was worried that I wouldn't like this line, but I do. I really, really do. Okay, I've got a couple spots here that I missed. Let me grab those real quick. Mm -hmm. 
I have noticed like if I get a little bit on my cable and as soon as I'm done painting, if I use a magic eraser, it will wipe off. It doesn't come off near as easy as the clay base, but you can, you can get it off right, right away. I wouldn't let it dry too long. This is just my work table though, so I'm not super concerned. All right, let me finish drying this and then we will grab the white wax. I think I'm going to have great paint in my hair. This is already a huge improvement. That white, oh, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of paint in my hair now. That white color was not good. It was too yellowy. Oh, Deborah used the hand glue for her alcove ceiling. Amazing, yes. And Leslie loves her cottage colors. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, ladies. Like I said, I was skeptical, but I'm happy with them. I don't use them as much as I should, so I'm really glad the sale is happening. I'll be using them a lot this week. Oops, that was still wet. Let me quit touching it. So yeah, I was lazy this weekend and it was lovely. This week I was thinking I would go over to the city next door. Um, it's called Lawrence, Kansas. It's where um, Kansas University KU is. But I thought I would go over there and do some thrifting this week. I thought that'd be fun. I've been to my thrift stores here locally a lot lately. I'm not seeing a ton of new things on the shelves. So I'll probably run out to Charlie's this week. I didn't hit that last week. And then head over to Lawrence and see what I can find over there. That'll be fun. And I need to figure out where my closest Goodwill bins are. All my friends are shopping the bins, and I'm like, you know what? I really think I want to try it. I'm afraid my anxiety is going to be crazy, but I want to give it a shot. As long as I remind myself when I go in to go shopping, like, you don't need anything. If you find stuff, great. I've got a ton of inventory right now. <laughs> Otherwise, I get like shopping anxiety. I need it, I need it, I gotta find it. I gotta buy it all. All right, Elaine, I hope you have a wonderful evening too, hon. You can check community later for a finished picture of this. It'll be up on Facebook and stuff too. Thanks for joining me. Um, Deborah asked us, do I find that the drying time is extended because of the top coat? Yes. Yep, the clay-based paint without the sealer would have already been dry by now. For sure. And I did uh, my last edited video where I did the bird cage and then a little egg nest in a box. That video didn't get very good views. So if y'all haven't seen that, go watch it because it's just a good quick video. Um, but I heat gunned the color, I think I used paint blue in that video, I heat gunned it and caused a bunch of bubbles on purpose when I was drying it because then if you sand those bubbles back, it provides like the craziest, cool, like authentic chippy look. So if you guys are curious about that and you haven't watched that last edited video, highly recommend it. I figured that out on accident the very first time I used the paint but it was one of those like happy accidents. And I show you how I do it, step by step. Almost dry. I want to hit up the thrift stores in the small towns around us. I went to 24 Treasures in Silver Lake, but they weren't open. I will let you know if I find a good one around us. Thank you, Tracy, yeah. Let me know, and hey, maybe someday we can even go out together. I'm always down for a local thrifting buddy, except for we might be competing for the same stuff. <laughs> that could be dangerous. <laughs> oh no, Teresa said she could do 11 projects a day for the rest of her life with her hoard. She needs a crafting friend or an intervention. So Teresa, I had that issue. I was sitting on so much stuff um, when I closed my booth. 
That's why I did the mystery boxes because I had all this inventory and I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to list all this stuff up. I don't have enough time. It was great stuff. So I got to downsize my hoard a ton. Y'all got an amazing deal on junk. I get my garage back for the spring. Like that was awesome. But Teresa, do you, do you sell? I can't remember, but if you're a seller, a mystery box might be a good idea. Um, Delisa, the mystery boxes were $39.95 for 12 items, but they are sold out. I will be doing more again here in the very near future. I'm so sorry about this camera shaking. I'm, I'm struggling. Um, I will be doing more in the very near future. And it was a mix of thrifted items, like things I just found for resale, um, handmade items, like decor boards and candlesticks, and then salvage, like that y'all could DIY with on your own. So it was a really, really fun mix of items. Uh, no, that did not include shipping. Shipping was $13. Because I did include quite a few like big things. Um, if I do one in the future with smaller items, I will do like a $5 flat rate shipping or something. But yeah, I definitely had some big items in there. Okay, I'm going to let this cool down for a second. It's really warm and I don't want my wax to just melt off. So give me just a sec. Hello from Texas. Hey, Vintage Uprising. Um, Deborah said she loved the haul that Sammy and I did together. Um, I want to see Sammy very soon. I've got some products I need to take up to her. Unfortunately, her household has been like crazy sick. So if y'all could send Sammy some good vibes um, and go watch her videos on replay because she's having a hard time getting content up. That would be lovely. I'm sorry, Delisa. She hates that she missed it. So here's the thing, Delisa. The thought literally came to me the same day I was making my video because I was out in my garage. I was running out of room. I threw those mystery boxes into my video on Thursday. I didn't even hardly market them. I just told, told people about them on my YouTube video. That video did terrible. I think it didn't even get 2000 views and I sold out in 24 hours. Like y'all are just crazy, but I'll do more. I promise. I promise. Sorry. This guy's too hot. Give him just a second. His booty's cooled down. <laughs> okay. So I have got DIY white wax. If y'all have not tried the waxes, I highly, highly recommend it. They are life changing. They are so soft and smooth and easy to work with. I, I, there's nothing that compares to the DIY wax and they're really pigmented too. So I do take a little bit out of my container. That way I don't take my white wax and turn it colored. And then I love to use a chip brush, just a little disposable chip brush. That way after I use it so many times, I can just toss it. Okay, so I already have a built-in sealer. That's going to provide a little bit of a barrier. And keep my white wax from sticking too much. If it didn't, if I was using a regular clay paint, I would have put um, a clear wax on first. But we're just going to take this and we're going to work it in small sections down into the low points. Down into all his little bunny details. And then I just got a paper towel here. I'm going to wipe back the excess off the high points. Now that white wax will sit down in the low points, making it look like cement or stone. And after about 24 hours or so, that wax will be dry. After a couple of days, it will be cured and it will not go anywhere. But there's nothing I love more than a single color of paint and a white wax. It is easy paint finish. It takes your decor up to more high-end look without a lot of effort. Now this guy is still a little warm. You might see that my wax is melting just a little bit. <laughs> let me slow down. Let him cool down just a little bit more. How pretty. What do you think? What do we think? I like it. <laughs> Elena likes it. Can say hi? Bye. <laughs> Why does it go so slow, like when you're not actually there yet? It's just lagging a little, it's okay. So here's again what this bunny looked like before. And the after improvement. And of course, um, after I get him completely done, I will take nice pictures of the finished look and update the listings on my website since they're just 
um, the before pictures right now. Put them in the fridge. Ha! I should, Deborah. My fridge is right there. He'll be okay. He's cooling down now. I'm just impatient. <laughs> Come back around. I'm about to get waxed in my hair too. So again, DIY Cottage Colors, 15% off now through the 16th at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. Over on my site, no code needed. The discount will apply at checkout. So if you've been wanting to try them out, now is the time. Um, $26.95 for the pint. But again, it does include that built-in sealer. There, I just dropped the cottage colors for you again. Do we have any questions about the paint? Um, any of the items I've shown tonight? Anything else before I finish this up and get off? And again, thank you guys for hanging out with me so long. We've been on for an hour and 20 minutes. Y'all are the best. Teresa says she loves it. Janet says she'll have to go back and catch up on the replay, but she loves her some white wax. Yes, ma'am. White wax is my favorite. Um, if y'all haven't used the waxes before, there's white, black, dark, clear, and shipwrecked. Shipwrecked is a beautiful teal color. They come in these big cans. They're 13 and a half ounces for $33. There's also a smaller size of four ounces for $13.50. And a little goes a very long way. So if you are just a crafter for your own sake, um, the small sizes would be great. If you are a maker and you'll be waxing a lot of things, I would say go ahead and grab a big container. It's a lot more cost effective. Yeah, Leslie says she really loves the bunny. You can see more of the blue gray with the white wax. He does, he does look really blue, um, especially with this ring light, Leslie. It's a little more blue on camera than in real life. I'm gonna turn that ring light down and see if that changes things just a little bit. Cause it is pretty, it really is a pretty gray gray. It's not too blue. I'm gonna mess with him just a little bit more, kind of finesse the final details, but y'all get the point. Such an improvement from that creamy, yucky off-white color. And again, on this bunny, I'll probably do this one on an edited video. Um, that way I can promote the, co the cottage colors on an edited video too, but I might end up doing a little pink and stuff on this one's flowers. What do you guys think? All right, if there are no other questions, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off for the evening, finish up my Sunday chores, get the kiddo ready for school tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love these thrift hauls. Leslie says he does look like cement. Yes, he does. I love doing these thrift hauls weekly um, and, and y'all hopping on and chatting and hanging out. I appreciate the support so much. Stay tuned this week. Edited video coming up with details about the giveaway, trying to reach those 20,000 subs. So if you are catching the replay and you haven't yet, please share this out with a friend. Hit the thumbs up, comment, anything that's going to help YouTube realize that y'all love me and help keep pushing me out in the algorithm. Um, and that way I can keep bringing y'all amazing content. So. Thank you so much. Teresa said I could go crazy on the big one. I might. They say yes on the pink. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Deborah says loved bunnies going shopping. Thank you, ma'am. All right, y'all have a lovely, lovely weekend. I can't wait to hang out more this week. I'll be live. I'll have edited content up. We'll go shopping. It'll be a fabulous week. Bye, friends. Have a great evening. See you soon.